Good morning, everyone. Gather around for insights this morning. How many of you have a crown in your home? Or a broom? Well, we're going to talk about those two items today. Who wears a crown? That's right, a king would wear a crown. A king rules with power and he wears the crown as a sign of that power. So who uses a broom? Well, someone that wants to sweep or clean a floor, maybe get cobwebs off the walls. Do you think a king would ever use a broom and sweep? Probably not. Because he needs servants to do that. They always do all of the work for him because that is beneath him. But well, which would you like to have today? A crown or a broom? Well, if we say a crown, a crown won't make us a king, will it? But if we say a broom, people will appreciate us and give thanks for our service. Jesus says, if you're ready, you want to be a king. That isn't of much use for us, but if you are in need of a servant, everyone can use us. The question comes from the greatness, Jesus says, comes from power. But from being a helper to all, like sweeping the floor, maybe doing dishes, maybe making our beds, we're helping other people and anyone can see that we are trying to be a servant. That makes us great in God's eyes. Jesus said he didn't come down to rule over everyone. He came down to be a servant for everyone and to everyone. So if we follow Jesus' example, we will become a servant to all. So let's remember, kings are very powerful, or at least they were in the olden days, but a servant is good forever. That person helps people, and that's what Jesus does. He said that he came down not to rule the world, but to be a servant to everyone. Let us pray. Please help us to be an example, dear Lord. Hold hands until our hearts are in the prayer that you came to serve each one of us. You know God loves us. His love is ever abounding for us. And we need to follow his example, caring for others, and help us to be servants to others. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Couple of things. Don't forget, uh, the shoe boxes will be due on Sunday, November 15th. So if you haven't gotten them yet from the church and you wish to help out in that regard and be a servant, please see that you stop at this church and pick one up. Or you can call Nancy or me and we can get them for you and uh, bring them to my porch or however is easiest for you to get one. So that's coming up on November 15th. So, and we can always remember to save our pennies for our offerings. We hope you have a great day today. Enjoy 
the weekend and enjoy being a servant to God. Bye now.